Well, hello everyone. I'm out here on a very blustery day, so you'll hear the wind maybe pick up and rustle through the trees overhead, but what I'm doing is looking into one of my garden worm towers, and I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Normally, when I go into my tower systems, I take my garden fork and I just, you know, gently turn it over like this, and you know, my last video perhaps is the one where I showed you how I bolstered the contents by topping up with some leaf mulch and you know so I, I roll over the contents I oops I find worms here's one here here's uh, one of my friendly garden tower occupants there <laughs> just uh, saying, why did you take me out into this bright sunshine? I want to be living back in my garden tower. So there are worms in here and they are going through this leaf manure, food scrap, garden scrap combo. I see that there's newspaper in here. So that might make this next thing that I'm going to try a little bit different. We bought one of those worm friendly compost turners. Uh, Rick uh, uh, with gardening with bar chicken also demonstrated one. Uh, this is what the end of them look like. They're various types of spiral. And I'm gonna try to do this. This garden tower is not exactly the easiest position for me to do it. But if I, in a little mobility scooter, can do this way over at an angle, anybody can. So let me just corkscrew this in here. And because it is not sharp, and doesn't slice through the material like a shovel, it doesn't injure the worms. Now, I've just gone down a little bit. Oh, look, there's a worm actually crawling over it. I will lift you up to show eventually, but obviously I need both hands. So I lift the compost a little bit. Oh, and there's a worm hanging right on the fork there. There we go. So that's kind of how you do it. I guess in a garden tower system like this, you kind of have to aim for the aim for the opening, and I and I that's what I figured. The newspaper and coffee filters that we've put in there are making this spiral a little bit more difficult than if it was just leaves and other loose con compost. But I'll try to go a little bit deeper on this one. So you can go as deep as you like. You can. Uh, lift as little or as, as much as you like. This is a five gallon bucket. So I'm quite deep now. So let's try this one. Hope I don't make a big mess. Come on, up, up, up. Up, up, up. It looks like the material wants to come out of the bucket, but that's okay if it does. Okay, so I've now mixed up my garden tower. You can see the worms. I don't know if you're seeing that, but there are worms crawling in the material. And now I've mixed up my garden bucket. Right, uh, I, I actually hit the bottom of the bucket there. So right to the bottom, I've kind of mixed up, brought up some of the upper stuff. Obviously a little bit of collateral spillage here, but that's okay. And uh, I'll just put the tool down and lift up the phone here and show you the material closer to the bottom, you know, looking like it's starting to get a bit processed looking. Um, there were worms here and they're disappearing quickly in the, in the bright light. I can see that we've got some needles in this. Oh, there's a worm over there. I can see that we've got some needles in this garden bucket, but it'll all get processed. Oh, and one of my worms escaped the bucket and there he is in our garden. So it doesn't matter. They will find their way back into the bucket. That's the whole point with these garden systems. I will put this lid back on, get my charred leaf out of the way. Mm, there we go. And then we usually just put like a rock on top to stop critters. You see, there's the worm disappearing under a leaf in our garden. He's only a few inches away from the bucket. I'm sure that once he's 
down into the substrate of the garden, he will find his way back. All right, so that's looking in on, that was our most recent garden bucket that we installed. So the material is the least processed of all our buckets. But I think I will use that tool on some of the other buckets and stir up the mixture uh, to get even distribution of the worm castings that are starting to accumulate. I think it'll make the towers more effective at producing uh, castings faster. Oh, and there's another worm over here. I think that's a worm right there going through the garden right there. Just, just disappeared under those new seedlings. <laughs> yeah, there's worms everywhere. All right, bye everyone.